What's up guys, it's Alex here, back with another Fox Valley picking video. Last week I went undefeated once again, even though there was only one game in the Fox Valley, which was Cary Grove versus Prairie Ridge. And I didn't really go over my record last week in terms of my overall record. Um, currently I'm 45 and 9 on the picks, and this is the third straight week that I've gone undefeated. Hopefully, I can go undefeated once again. And yeah, this is this is the final week of the Fox Valley picking video. Re really, this is when it becomes the IHSA picking video, but you know, the Fox Valley uh, schools are still in it, and if they weren't in it by week 13, which is today, then they, then I would not make an episode until next weekend for um, the state championship games. Anyways, so I'm going to be going over the two semifinal matchups this week just because I, I honestly think I should. I did, I did it last year and I think I should do it this year. So before I go into that, I want to note something very interesting. So when it came to the north region of the bracket, uh, the teams who won only won by one point. And both of them, I believe, I know that this is the case for uh, Crystal Lake versus Cary Grove, but I'm not too sure about Deerfield versus Lake Forest. But I want to say they lost on the game-winning drive, so like, so like they, the losing team was driving down the field and they either ran out of time or they just couldn't convert on fourth down. And so if the losing teams of those matchups won, it would have been a rematch of the semifinal from 2012, Lake Forest versus Cary Grove. But both of them lost by one point, and now we're here in the semifinal matchup without them. However, I will not be going over uh, Prairie Ridge versus Deerfield quite yet. I'm going to start off with East St. Louis versus, versus Glenwood. Glenwood is visiting East St. Louis. And up to this point, East St. Louis has dominated each of their opponents, and I wouldn't see why they wouldn't dominate um, Glenwood they had a 60 to nothing win against Richards, and historically, Richards has a pretty good football program. So, if if they lose 60 to nothing, you know that that they that the other team is like way better. So, East St. Louis, I have beating Glenwood, and if you guys saw the first episode, you guys know that East St. Louis is my 6A champion. But depending on how they play this week will either make my pick stay or change it. You know, I I don't see why they won't win 6A, but at the same time, you know, anything can happen and we'll we'll just have to wait till next week to see um who's in the state championship matchup and if St. East St. Louis is going to win it. The next matchup we have is Chris Lake Prairie Ridge. Oh, I mentioned the town name. I, I was looking at the IHSA bracket and they put the town name before the school name, but we got number one Prairie Ridge who will be visiting number two Deerfield and I think that Prairie Ridge is going to win. Um, It's going to be a close matchup. I, was, I didn't expect Prairie Ridge to score very few points against Cary Grove, but you know, it always, it always seems like um, whenever Cary Grove and Prairie Ridge play each other in the regular season and the playoffs, it seems like the playoffs are a lot more competitive. Um, I would have li like I said, I would have liked to see Cary Grove upset Prairie Ridge, but at the same time, I picked Prairie Ridge to beat Cary Grove, so and I'm picking Prairie Ridge to beat Deerfield too to advance to the state championship game. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for the state championship picks next week and I will see you guys next time. Bye.